Hello, this is a video tutorial to show you how to set up your laptop to work with the Blue Yeti USB mics, which are located in the whisper rooms in L223, also known as the voiceover booths. So if you've been having trouble, this is how you should set up your computer to make sure it works properly. First step, go to the little tiny black apple in the left top corner of your computer. Choose System Preferences. When that opens up, go to the second row right at the end. Click on the sound icon. And from there, you're going to choose the microphone that you want. So make sure you've plugged in the, the Yeti Blue USB microphone already. You should see it there as an option to choose. With me, I have to scroll up. So if you don't see it right away, just scroll up. It could just be hidden. So click that for your input. And you should see now that you've got an input level here. So you can see the microphone is actually working. Um, you can adjust this input volume here. I find it works kind of best up almost at the top, around like 95% level. Um, so if you want to put it up there, that's probably a good place to start. Uh, you're also going to want to set the output for the microphone as well too. So if you click on output, again find the USB microphone and select that. Here you have an adjustment for the output volume as well. Um, the reason we're going to do this is that you're going to use your headphones with the microphone. And if you have earbuds or headphones, you can plug them in on the bottom of the USB microphones. There's a little headphone port and it has a little picture of headphones, so it's very obvious. So if you have earbuds or headphones, just plug that into the microphone as well. This will allow you to hear yourself as you're creating your voiceovers, which is always a good idea in the way that you will do it in the uh, industry as well too. So bring earbuds or bring a good set of headphones, plug that into the, to the microphone on the bottom, and listen as you talk. So once you've got both of those set, input and output set to the blue USB mic, close that. Go into your Applications folder, so under the Happy Face Finder, on the bottom left of your dock, open that guy up, go into Applications, and right at the bottom of your Applications folder, you should see a folder called Utilities. Click on that, and then look for the one that says Audio MIDI Setup. So it should be near the top. It looks like a little uh, keyboard, so just double click on that to open it up. So now the same thing is going to happen here. So you want to select the blue USB again, and you want to set that for both the input and the output. Um, so for click input first, make sure that you've selected this to 48,000 hertz. That's the setting that we want. And then the other important thing is you want to make sure that you have this little microphone icon and this little speaker icon lit up. If it's not uh, there where it says blue USB, you want to set those. So the way you do that is you go down to the bottom of this window where you see the little gear, click on that, it brings a pull down menu up, and just select right there where it says use this device for sound input. Select that if it's not already grayed out, and below that, click where it says use this device for sound output as well, if you don't already see that uh, grayed out. If it's grayed out, it means it's already here. So if you have these little icons, that means it's good, you're good to go. If not, just go down there and choose that microphone and make sure you're using the device for both input and output. Once that's set, you can close that and you can go ahead and open up your Adobe Audition. Now once Adobe starts up, we're going to want to check the settings in there as well too. So it's a three-step process. Some of them may already be set up, some you may have to adjust again. Uh, but the way you do that is go under the first uh, toolbar option under Adobe Audition and click on the preferences there. Move over till you see Audio Hardware and select that. You should get a window that looks like this up. And again, we just want to make sure that the blue USB uh, mic is checked for both input and for output. So again, just make sure it says blue USB audio for both the input and the output there. And then you should be good to go. It should say 48,000 down here again, but we've already said that, so that should be the same. So if that's good, then go to the one right above audio hardware. It says audio channel mapping. Click on that. And here we just want to make sure that the audition is pointed to the right uh, channels and the right device. So at the top is your input again. So if it doesn't say blue audio, blue USB audio analog one, just click on the little arrow at the right and choose analog one for channel one. And the second one here, make sure that it selected to blue USB audio analog two. And then same thing down here on the output again. Uh, just for the volume going back out to the mic, make sure that it also says left and right analog 1 and analog 2. If it doesn't, 
click the arrow and you'll get the drop down menu and just make sure that it looks just like I have it here. If you do that, you should be good to go. So uh, just click on file. New, when you're doing a voiceover, you're not recording a multi-track session, just a simple audio file. So just click on audio file, give it a name, click OK. OK, so once you've got that set up, um, you want to go into your production settings. So just give it a try just to test the recording there. Um, what you want to be able to see is this window here. If you don't see that option available, you can reset your window workspace uh, under the window option here at the top. So just go window workspace and there's a classic default. Uh, you may want to use the radio production one. That's the one I have, but it's up to you or whatever your instructor prefers. If you choose that, you'll get this little window and you'll see there's some buttons down here for recording. So just go ahead and press record. And as you can see, I'm recording at the moment. I can see levels, my little waveform is going and everything seems to be working. So if I stop that and played it back, you would hear that it's working. So everything should be good. If you don't get that window up, sometimes you can just double click on the file that you've created and uh, that will pop up. Uh, if not, then you can just go to the workspace and reset it as the radio workspace. And I found that brought it back up too. So that should work. If you have any problems, talk to your instructor first. And if they can't figure it out, you can come see me and we can sit down and uh, walk you through it. And hopefully uh, we'll get everybody going and recording directly into Audition using the blue USB audio microphones in the Whisper Rooms. Thanks.